We have a lot of teachers that teach statistics that do not know anything more than what they see in their textbook. My background actually in statistics was very minimal. My degree was in math and I was trained as a pure mathematician. Hey, you're assigned to teach elementary statistics. Here's the book. The post-secondary education system in the U.S. and around the world was set up with mathematics as a core requirement. And understandably, for more than 100 years, uh, colleges and universities have had math departments. Does the limit of f of x as x approach a equal f of a? The 1960s is when you started to see the first general statistics courses. And naturally, it fell to the mathematicians to teach statistics in most cases. Mathematicians are trained as mathematicians. And unfortunately, that training does not typically include statistics. If we're going to help instructors adapt to the 21st century and teaching statistics and data science in the 21st century, we realize that we should make statistics about data. We're not asking people to change the way that they're teaching stats. We're just saying, here, let's infuse your class with something that's, that's real, that's real data. So we're trying to give them an idea of how data actually falls into their classroom. I would say that stat prep was one of the best professional development experiences that I have engaged in because it was so immediately transferable to what I was doing. It's been gratifying to see how many of the participants are excited by the new concepts and technologies and applications that they see. It was really empowering to be around a community of other math teachers and statistics teachers who were focusing on making changes to their teaching. If I hadn't have gone through some professional development, I would be missing out on so much of the world. So, you know, thank goodness for these resources that we have to keep up to date. It's important that we form a network of other statistics educators that work together. Uh, the MAA Connect is um, a website where we can have conversations and share our resources. We need to stay in touch with the participants to help them continue to develop their skills in teaching in this modern way. I think we live in a really data-driven world, and now especially, and we're surrounded by data. Can we talk about it? Um, what can we pull from it? And I think that with issues such as coronavirus, where we have this data, and we can show our students and say, look, this is happening right now. This is relevant. This is real. I can introduce students into statistics and statistical literacy in the class. We're all in our homes because of coronavirus. And I just can't wait to get back into the classroom to be using data that's being generated right now in real time. Staff Prep has completely changed the way that I teach statistics. I've learned, I've grown as an individual. I've changed what I do in my classes. There's so much to learn, but you can implement little parts into your classroom pretty easily. You can adjust how you teach statistics in as small or a big of a way as you want. The students are seeing what is here and now in statistics and also data science. When our students go out there, then they have marketable skills. It's very important that we as educators help our students prepare for that future. It's so important that I teach students how to re read the data, understand the data, but then be able to go out and correctly explain what statistics are as they go out into their fields. I'm not the teacher I was three or four years ago, and it's not just in statistics, it's changed the way that I interact with my students.